I'm Mr. TapTap, and welcome to Let's Play Refrain Prism Memories. If you cover this game, was provided by Degisa Games, the publisher. Um, this is a bullet hell shoot 'em up. Let's, we're going to show you the characters I don't like before we play the character I do like. One cute thing about this game, how do I, how do I get back? Um, the characters each have their own little login screen in the game. So, uh, we're going to play as this character. She seems to be like a more unusual advanced character. She was not, like, you start with only one character unlocked. I'm not sure if there's more than three yet. I've only gotten three. Uh, I only played, uh, I think less than an hour. Uh, but uh, this character is very interesting because of her, she has this weird drill sort of thing, which uh, seems to cover a decent, you know, vertical, or not vertical, horizontal area. And she has this interesting lock-on, you know, very wide area there. But, uh, I'm used to using more forward force, which I guess is what her normal shot is for, but uh, it just feels a little weird to me. It is nice to be able to hit back like that. Depending on the enemy, of course. Uh, so, there's a few unique mechanics in this game. One of them is this, instead of bombs, you have this meter that charges up to six. And we'll use that right now. If you use up, you can use up to four attacks from it in succession. And um, they, each one of the attacks is different. So like to do your most powerful one, you need four meters instead of just one. Like if you do one, it's just this weakish, you know, get away from me sort of thing. So I usually save up all four. I'm sure there's some, you know, more advanced tactics of, you know, reasons you'd use the other levels, but uh, I'm still just learning. I get a little, you know, performance anxiety in regards to shoot 'em ups and, um... So I, I'm just trying to force myself to play. I, I, I've kind of forgot that I was supposed to only be showing you this character. I don't actually want to play as her the whole game. I'm just going to show you the other one that I'm not going to play as. I'm not actually sure this one's gimmick. Like pretty much all shoot 'em ups, this game has decent difficulty modes. Easy doesn't seem too bad. I played easy on my first try. Um, pretty much any shoot 'em up has an easy mode, and people, you know, sort of exaggerate the difficulty of the genre. This one's an interesting, you know, as you can see, you can change. I think it's um, R type has a weapon like this where you sort of position your, your angle of your options. And her lock-on is weird, but really cool. I like this, like, shadow laser she's got going on here. But, uh, oh right. The, the way the weapons work, the game has a nice tutorial that explains all this stuff. But there's only one shoot button. And when you enter slow mode to dodge stuff, your weapon actually changes to lock-on mode. Which, in this case, has your options doing, you know, their weird, like, melee attack. And changes the weapon to this thicker laser here. And there is also the concept reactor, which we haven't gotten to use yet. It's the concept reactor is your bullet erasing bomb. Let me just show you. Yeah, that's the fourth one is your boss killer, in terms of your bomb or whatever it's called. It's like MRS two. I can never remember the name of that. Uh, the meter there. Let's see, let's put is our main character here. Um. The game's configuration is stored in a separate launcher, which is kind of annoying, and prevents the game from having full gamepad control. Um, you can play the game entirely with the gamepad, except you can't um, operate the launcher with the gamepad. Which, the first time you play, you have to use the launcher. The game also doesn't have exact, like, 1080p, It's which is weird, because obviously it's got some 3D, like, it's rendered in 3D, so... Eh. The Japanese indie games, and even Japanese not indie games, tend to have, you know, not the best PC options and such. But, uh, once you're in-game, very playable. Performance seems fine. Um, it's got a little FPS counter in the bottom up there. For some reason it turns up, by default, the, um, Parker! No! Get down! Um... By default, your hitbox is not shown, but there is an option for it. It's the little green space. Parker! Seriously! Bad timing! It might have been a little overkill, but it's fun. 
Your meter, um, your laser meter, I guess I'll call it, charges pretty quickly, so you can use it several times per level. Um, you charge your concept reactor, by the way, by- oh crap. Took a hit there. By picking up these little star things. Probably shouldn't have been using that lock-on, should have been using the wider shot. This ship is nothing really too fancy, but it also makes it very good starter ship. Which is why it's the only ship unlocked when you start, I guess. See, the laser, the single shot of the laser meter isn't too bad. It's not useless, but uh, it's definitely a lot weaker than the level 4 shot. I pretty much just use it as an all or nothing. So once you charge your concept reactor, you erase all bullets and actually turn them into these weird blocks that you can shoot for extra points. I'm pretty sure it's, you know, one of those advanced scoring technique things. I definitely am not good enough at this game to bother worrying with score, but uh, it's definitely got some fun quirks. Uh, the characters are different enough. Basic gameplay, very fun. Uh, not too complicated to pick up. Oop. Hello. Let's just burn that on our boss. And like most bullet clears that give you points, you want to wait until there's a lot of bullets on screen before you use your concept reactor. I'm not sure I'll get an opportunity in this boss fight. It depends on which attack she uses. I guess she just changed phases? Ah, no! Ah, that was embarrassing. I almost killed her before she did this phase, but uh, she left. I should have committed to it and used that earlier. Oh well. Could have been worse. I'm not gonna, you know, one credit clear this or anything. I might not finish the game. Like, I just decided I'm gonna show a decent attempt at normal for a beginner. And I mean, you know, this isn't a high score run or anything. Like, a, what do they call those? Super play video? No. I'm sure you can find those on YouTube if you want. Uh, I just wanted to get over my performance anxiety for showing shoot 'em ups because I got a bunch to show and I, I'm just worrying too much about being good at them and it's like, nah, just don't like get a game over on the first level. Show a couple of bosses, it'll be fine. Now, even when I don't know a game, I'm a lot better than a lot of people are at you know the genre. So uh, whatever. Also, I'm not sure if your concept meter and stuff, I'm not sure if those stay. There's also a bullet clear effect from certain levels of that laser meter. I I'm not entirely sure how that works quite yet. Like, I think you, yeah, you erase, you can erase forward bullets with your level 1, which is pretty nice. So yeah, I think it's dead. Ugh. I hate attacks like that. I think I just took a hit. Wait, I don't think I did. I, I have two ships. I'm not sure if you start with two or three, though. Also, if you start near enough to an- Aw, oh, damn it. That was bad. I was trying to show you something. If you start close enough to an enemy, you seem to just absorb their star points instead of them being dropped to pick up. Uh, probably shouldn't have tried that on a tougher enemy to show it off, but whatever. So this character, while basic and easy to use, you don't have too much option for attacking stuff you're not directly in front of. The other characters are a bit better about that. But of course, it's a bit more advantage too, so that's why I decided to just go for this one. I think if you use either 3 or 4, it erases pretty much all the bullets on the screen. Let's just use that concept reactor for some points. Unfortunately, due to, you know, damn it, trying to avoid that, um, I usually don't really notice how much points you even get from using the concept reactor, so I don't really know if it's like crazy worth it or not. I 
I should really... I'm not sure if you get more credits, but you start with only two credits. So I probably will not be beating the game at this rate. I'll at least try to get to maybe boss four if I can. Did I get a game over yet or not? I must have. It's a little intense for the start of a level. I love that big laser. Anything that has a giant laser. Oh, it's lock-on! I think it's lock-on that makes those... the star points, like... magnet to you. So, as you can see, definitely is a bullet hell game. It gets... you know, we're on normal level, so you know... You're not seeing the maximum density of bullet patterns. I don't really want to see maximum density quite yet. Ah. Trying to get greedy there. Didn't work out. I'm sure that was a very farmable spot for tons of points, but I uh, messed it up a little bit there. I gotta show you at least one more boss, so let's, let's not die too much. So we're definitely getting more opportunity to use the concept reactor in this level. It's way more crap dropping. Oh no, I wanted to kill you! Come back! Visuals are a little simple, but kind of cyberpunky. I don't mind. And you have to be fairly quick about using your, um, thingies, your laser meter there. Did I blow up? Yes, I did. I thought that might erase those explosion things, but no. Damn it! Okay, I should have been using the concept reactor. Yeah, that boss is a lot easier to dodge in easy mode. That is the excuse I will use. This is actually my first time playing more than the first level on normal mode. It's not a ton different, but uh, it's obviously harder. The easy mode also does not play the whole game as is common. It goes to level 4, I guess, is what it says, and this is 5 stages. I'm not sure if there's a true end situation. There usually is. My only goal is to survive this upcoming boss. Then I will die happy, and I'm sure I will die. Wait. This is just another mid-boss. Dang it, I was hoping to find the real boss. And you can charge your meter multiple times within a boss, as you can see here, so uh... Make sure you actually use all four. And I think using lock-on on bosses helps you charge your meter a lot faster than you would otherwise. Uh-oh. I want to spam my thing, but I, I can't see the boss right now. Hey! Okay, just wanted to panic before I got hit there. I'm pretty sure I only have one credit left, if any. Pretty decent music, too. Oh! That was the boss? Well, I didn't have a cool thing on it, or like, visual, or whatever. It just looked like the normal sub-bosses. Excuse you, calm, calm with the missiles. Okay, whoa. 
bullet patterns are a little bit of a step up from easy mode. Though the missile thing happened in easy mode too. A lot of times in easy mode in games like this, certain attacks won't even happen. Uh, so, <clears throat> well, it's nice and accessible. You kind of have to begin on at least easy mode or, you know, whatever has every enemy that actually shoots. Like, well, you go at your own pace, but uh, in order to master the game, you pretty much want to go step, step by step. I would never recommend just starting on the hardest difficulty and, you know, pretending that's the reasonable way to go about things. Generally, you want normal, unless you're not too great, then easy's, you know, fine. Oh. <laughs> I should have expected. I should have expected that. Ow. Hmm. Am I supposed to destroy all three of these, or, or all four? I, I guess so. Oof. Oh, these have a lot of health. I guess it was right to use my thing. There you go. I actually have not gone this far yet. I uh, quit somewhere around this desert level in easy mode. All right, no, I died. So uh, I'm actually kind of surprised I got this far on normal. Maybe I have more credits now? It's a fairly common thing for games to give you, like, you slowly unlock more credits, like Eskatos did that. It's a pretty cool way to balance the console experience with the arcade experience. Because if you just let people credit feed, they will, and lots of people consider your game less good if they can just credit feed, even though it's not really playing the game right. You sure have a lot of HP. Do you just have to shoot these guys with the laser? Maybe you do. But those things are definitely not dying too easy. I have all of this concept reactor point- Aw! I have all this concept reactor energy and... No particularly good way to use it. Aw oh, crap, I didn't have level 4. I'm always mixed up if I do that before I have level 4. I have no idea what I'm doing in this boss. I apologize. Level 4, please. Level 4, go! The concept reactor is interesting in that it's really not a bomb, it's just a bullet erase. So it's not of much help to you if there isn't tons of bullets on the screen. Like, it, it's not a boss killer, you need the lasers to do that. There we go. That wasn't even the boss? Ah, this is the boss. Citrus and Seedless. I wonder if we'll get a new character. Whoa. Calm yourself. Aw. I'm not entirely sure what... Aw, oh, crap. Which bullets are affected by con the concept reactor and which aren't. Also, one thing about the, the settings for this game. Um, I definitely recommend setting your own, setting up the controls. Um, it starts off really weird. Um, the way I have it is I have the X button on my Xbox controller set to attack, the A button to lock on slash slow down, and um, I have the triggers map or the shoulder buttons mapped to the concept reactor and the you know charged laser button. Um, the original setup's a little weird, and unfortunately, start is the back button. And attack is the accept button, which means I have to press start to go backwards or enter the menu, and I have to press um, square or X to uh, X on the Xbox controller to go forward, which is not how my brain wants to interpret things at all. I'm not sure we're gonna beat this boss. I need way more laser energy than I am getting. Not sure what these timer bonuses like. I guess it's each wave maybe? Ah, I had a thing. Game over! Ah! Oh. Man, 
I, I'm not good at that boss, I guess. MRS. Yeah, it's like the M. I want to say it's MRS2 or something. That's the name of the thing. Did I unlock a character? No. Oh, because I didn't beat the boss. Or maybe there's only three. I'm not sure. But yeah, that is Refrain Prison Memories. I think that was a decent enough first look. The copyright date may be ancient, but um, this only recently came on Steam. Um, I think this past week. I meant to get a video out in time for launch, but, uh, well. I'll blame Uncharted, even though it wasn't Uncharted's fault. But I've been playing Uncharted this whole week. But yeah, I'll probably be doing a bunch more shoot 'em up videos. Um, I have a bunch that I wanted to show off, and I've been letting myself get too worried about showing them well. And it's like, that's it's not going to happen. I might do some streams where I, you know, play shoot 'em ups well enough to, you know, you know, get some more practice and do decently. But yeah, thanks for watching. This is Refrain Prism Memories.